Hey, what's going on? I'm back. Back to the regular avatar. In case you hadn't noticed, the world of filmmaking is hitting different at the moment. In fact, it's been hitting different for a little while now. Films like Mandalorian, Avengers Endgame, Blade Runner, even Frozen 2 have been employing what's called virtual production and in-camera VFX to increase flexibility, shorten production times, and bring computer-generated imagery and visual effects out of post-production and into real-life sets. When you write and you shoot and you direct, you get so inspired by being on an actual location. That's where you come up with most of your shots. Actors can now respond to a 3D world around them, physically and literally. Whether that's in one of these LED volumes where the actor can actually see a screen around them, or whether still using green screen, they can actually see a screen of themselves composited in the scene in real time. This not only makes for a much more exciting and flexible process, but it reduces costs, time taken, and even carbon emissions. Essentially a whole new world of terminology is emerging and in fact has been emerging all the way back since 1962's Dr. No where the first example of in-camera VFX had been practiced. This is an example of where filmmakers decided to film an actual projection of a background through the Bond car essentially meaning that no editing had to be done in post. Now filmmakers have seen the benefits of being able to see the changes that they're making to their whole scene in real time and they've figured out a load of ways to incorporate that into their workflows. To grab hold of, of any tree in a forest of which there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and move them around independently to reset dress on the day based upon what we were seeing through the camera. This is amazing for film studios, but this also has a crazy impact on indie studios and even solo filmmakers. Not only are you able to create awesome shots, you can take just some of these techniques like camera tracking or using Unreal Engine for real-time adaptations of backgrounds and lighting, but you don't have to have a full LED volume or a crazy studio for this. You can combine things like green screen, maybe a bit of camera tracking, maybe a bit of Unreal Engine, and as a really small studio, even a a solo filmmaker you can recreate some of these groundbreaking effects and workflows not only are you able to make awesome shots in your own backyard but you could make an esports league a podcast with digital guests or mascots or even twitch interactivity a lot of this stuff is made in games making engines like unreal engine and it is designed to run at high fps rates fps means frames per second so imagine exporting an after effects video you're going to be waiting for one frame to render maybe even minutes per frame. Unreal Engine can render anywhere from 24 to 120 frames per second and even more than that. So world of real time, super exciting. Now there is a trade-off. The time that is traditionally spent waiting for renders uh, is exchanged for time learning, optimizing, organizing projects and just learning the crazy mumbo jumbo that Unreal wants you to know to make things work. So that's why here at Offworld Live, we saw the need for supplying sample projects, easy to use projects that get you up and running in the world of real-time VFX with as little friction as possible. You can come from any other kind of background and get going, see yourself in a virtual world in minutes, and we are all about democratizing this stuff here. So with an Offworld Live community license and a copy of our virtual production sample project, you will be able to broadcast a virtual set then the rest of the level building and extras is all up to you, which by the way, we have an amazing Discord community, list of videos and list of awesome resources for learning all of that. Basically, the barrier for entry has been severely lowered and you can be ushered into the world of virtual production and broadcast and bathe in the swamp that we all call home here at Offworld Live. So check out the next couple videos where we go into exactly what goes into all the compositing for real-time compositing in Unreal Engine. Uh, and then also the next videos further on, we're gonna go uh, just literal step-by-step in-depth guide of how to use our virtual production project and get going compositing yourself or your talent into real-time 3D visual effects. So all the info you need to get going is right here. Uh, check out these videos to learn all about it.